One last thing I want to ask you before we wrap this up. Uh, obviously, you've, you've been asked about this a million times, but uh, I, I wanted to ask a, a specific question with, with Metallica. Of course, you were famously, uh, they offered you to, to join the band back in the day. You've said before there's no regrets about not taking them up on the offer. It's a huge honor for you to have been asked. At that time, you know, Armored Saint was getting pretty hot and all that, uh, all that kind of stuff. And certainly nobody could have ever predicted that Metallica would go on to become this behemoth of a band and, and music in general, not just metal that they are today. But do you ever just sit back and wonder, you know, maybe how things would have turned out had you ended up saying yes and, and taking the gig? Do you think it would have worked out in the long haul? Or, or do you really feel like, uh, you know, you you were just not the, the right guy for that job. You know, it's, I don't really think it was the right fit for me, you know, in, in retrospect, I think that, um, I think that when, when I look back, I, I, you know, again, we did the, the one version where I sang the four horsemen, which is at the 30th anniversary show that they did at the Fillmore in San Francisco. And it was awesome. Don't get me wrong. It was killer. It was you know, one of the highlights of my life. And, um, and I think it sounded awesome actually. Um, but you know, I, I just like James is such an iconic singer performer. I can't imagine him not being the front man of that band or anyone being in it besides me uh, or other than me. It, it just, it makes no, I, I don't see it. You know, I don't see that because that would be like such a reduction in what somebody meant to, you know, the music business. So that's why it's easy to not, to not, you know, to, for all the various reasons and just, you know, when I say it just wasn't my fate and wasn't meant to be and blah, blah, blah. The, the truth is I just can't imagine James not being, having his voice and having his front man contributions not being there. That would be very strange to me, um, especially for a band that went on to be, like you said, the, the behemoth that they are. So, um, yeah, you know, I just, I, it's, I don't, it just, I mean, when not joining Anthrax would have been a bigger mistake in my career because that was years later and a lot of work had already been accomplished and done. And um, so to not go and join them to me would would um, be something that would be more of a bigger mistake that to make. Um, nobody else was meant to be the front man of Metallica. Um, I'm not taking anything away from Joey Belladonna because you know he contributes a lot to Anthrax's sound and style and has through the years and still does. But you know there was a period of time when there was a change and that was a that that fit for me felt like it was appropriate. So um, you know again always flattered. I mean love Metallica. You know love all the changes and chances that they took through the years and the willingness to to stick their neck out in various ways. Um, even if maybe it meant the fans were going to be like, I don't know about this. I mean, they made a record with Lou Reed, you know, they did all kinds of things that not, sometimes you wonder, what is this? But, um, you know, the orchestra, which is really cool, of course, and amazing, but, you know, still like to somebody who's just, I only want to hear Master of Puppets and that's it. <laughs> you know, it might be like, I do not understand this, um, you know. Um, you know, they just do, they take chances. And the same goes for anthrax, you know, whether I was in anthrax or out of anthrax, they always were willing to do things, you know, that maybe was pushing the fan base's uh, senses a little bit and maybe not even a, was a sure shot. You know, come on, I'm the man. Like there was no guarantee that that was going to be well received when it came out. And, um, and it was, and it was just a chance to take. So that's the beauty of, of both those bands. And, and I was in Anthrax and when I was in Anthrax, I felt like we took chances. And even when I was not, I felt like they took chances. And the same goes for Metallica. So like, you don't want to just repeat yourselves constantly uh, doing the same thing. You know, you have to take chances and you have to push yourself as a musician and as a writer and as an artist. And, and, and not everything is going to be hitting the bullseye. You know, that's why the best bands, bands like U2 and Radioheads, and obviously not metal bands, but do that too. And that's why I love those bands, you know? And, and, and that to me is a true artist. Not somebody who's like, let's give them what they want every time. It's like, oh, that's, that's kind of safe almost, you know? It's like, let's, let's give them something that they don't know they want, but then we'll want it. And that's to me a little more adventurous, you know?
Well, and, and you know, bands that, that are willing to take chances, uh, like Metallica, always seem to be the ones that, that can, you know, ha- have real actual longevity, you know? Well, and that's for sure. You know, I, I think that that is the reason that you have longevity is because you're willing to take the chances. And look, there will probably be dips in your career, but there there will be dips in anybody's career. There's no way you're going to sustain it a certain level of success, especially that level for 40 on years. I mean, they pretty much have, um, you know, the record sales probably haven't been exactly what they were. I mean, well, you're never going to match the black album because it was one of the best selling records ever, but yeah. like, um, you know, that's okay if you're going to have the, the stones, you know, I mean, they, there's going to be a little dip. There, there hasn't been a lot, you know, for live performances for these groups, but, um, you know, maybe musically there will be, you know, where, because you just, the, the longer you do it, the more, you know, you're, you're going to be tinkering around and doing different stuff. And hey, I, I, you know, it's funny, like I say this and maybe it's a little, I don't know if I should say it sometimes, but like, I love metal. Don't get me wrong. I do. It's, it's made my life, but you know, sometimes metal is counterculture as it is can be slightly conservative because people do the same thing and they go, they say, this is what the fans want. I'm going to give it to them. And they kind of won't steer outside the box a little bit. Um, And I think that sometimes it becomes a little stale. And so like, you know, I think push the boundaries, push them, push the fan base, you know, I'm not saying, you know, come out with like a folk album for, you know, porn or whatever, you know, like with the realities of it, but like do something to always kind of challenge the fan base. We do that with Saint. Of course, we're a smaller band, but we do. And we kind of feel like uh, the sky's the limit. Like we kind of feel like we can do anything. Um, you know, and then we have to check ourselves a little bit and say, ah, okay, maybe that's a little too out of the box, but, but we're actually always at least willing to, have the idea of trying it hence a you know old 70s song with us wearing suits like there will probably be fans going i don't like it you know and but oh well you know what are you gonna do you have to like kind of satisfy your own urges as an artist a little bit um and then as long as i think there's sincerity behind it that's the key i think if people feel like eh this feels forced. This feels kind of like they are just trying and they were really behind it. Then I think, then I, then I felt, look, I'm an artist. I mean, a, a fan of music as well. And so I feel the same way. Believe me, I'm harsh on bands I love and don't love. You know, I won't, I won't share that with you, but like, and the public, but I am, you know, and I, I feel like I don't like it, you know, so I get it. But, but as long as in the end, it, there's sincerity behind it, I think that's really the most important thing. 